We're back to Neil Haley Show. I'm excited to welcome the program. My co-host, Paul Hollis, author of the Hollow Man series. Paul, how are you, man? I know you're excited about our guests. We have a, a, a special guest to, uh, team today, um, Rob and Joan, and they are from, uh, they have, they are not only uh, a, a, an excellent writing team, but they're also uh, publicists on uh, on uh, uh, social media, and they have a weekly podcast that is out of this world. So welcome, Rob and Joan. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thank you for uh, having us. All right, let's talk about, let's first talk about your, your latest book and how you guys team up together. That's nice, right? Yes. It is. Um, we currently have three books that are published, and uh, we're working on our fourth one uh, that will be out in April, next April, uh, in the Magnol Magnolia Bluff Crime Chronicle series. Um, our first book was Bioprints, uh, which is, uh, uh, we issued, or we, we wrote that, we published it uh, in 2012, and then we had Flash Zombies right after that in the same series, uh, that was 2013, and then award-winning Clone Drones um, was in 2014. And they're basically a high-tech uh, high tech murder mysteries uh, with uh, old-fashioned detective solving it. Wow. I think these are all really great topics. How did you guys come up with these topics? I don't, well, Bioprints was because we had read something in the paper about bioprinting. And we thought, well, that would be really great if we then had somebody steal the bioprinting of, well, all right, what we had read was about them bioprinting vena cava for heart, heart transplants so that they could use those tubes. And we thought it'd be really great if we had bioprinting kidneys and stuff like that, and then a black market for it. And then there was a murder in there and that's how so we came up with that. 3D printing of body parts. <laughs> then flash zombies was back then, if you remember, flash mobs were all the thing. And so we said, oh, we should have a flash mob distract somebody at a high-end jewelry store. And then they can come in and, you know, steal the jewelry while everybody's looking at this flash mob of zombies banging on the window. And that was the idea for that. And then clone drones, everybody was using drones. And we thought, oh, I wonder if somebody weaponized it and they yeah. could just... That was right when personal drones had just started. I mean, we had military, just... obviously. We had military right. weaponized drones. Right. But no personal right. drones were weaponized. And so then we had senators being murdered as they sat outside on their back patio or whatever. And the mystery is who's murdering them and why. See, that's so... really cool stuff because... Thanks. Um, the, the the great topics and you like mystery, right? And and crime, right? Yeah. right. So yeah. how do you write together? That's gotta be. I mean, I I love seeing a couple and what you guys do. You're such a team, and that's so needed. To have a couple team. Do you guys both love writing, or do you guys work in and in, in tandem? How did you decide you're going to write together? Well, we've always worked together on everything. We used to be in the ministry. We worked together in that. We used to write plays and we actually went around in dinner theaters in uh, California and put on plays. And we raised a family. That... We raised a family of six. We have 14 <laughs> grandchildren and a great a granddaughter. Together. Yes, we worked together on yes, that. Yes, we <laughs> We're still working. Together. Accomplished that together. <laughs> um, and so what we do, because a lot of people ask us that, so we will write a chapter. One of us will maybe have an idea for a chapter or for a few paragraphs or something and write it down. And then we go through that together and then we change it and, and you know, and juice it up a little bit. And that's the, the way we do it. And I mean, sometimes one of us will be really convicted something should be in there and the other one thinks it's not going to work. And so then we have to discuss that and figure out okay, what's really going to be the best? And we never argue about it. It's We always come to the conclusion of what's ever best for the book, right? And for the reader. So, yeah. But we're also podcasters. We have a podcast every week, Wednesday night, as a matter of fact, at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. tonight. Yeah, and then we have one once a month. 
that's uh, called, okay, I always get the name wrong. You know that, Paul. Haunted, <laughs> Haunted Campfire, Campfire Tales. Tales. Haunted. And that's because our <laughs> podcast audience for our Meet the Author podcast always was wanting to talk about paranormal stuff because we're, we belong to a team of paranormal investigators called Tampa Bay Spirits here in Tampa Bay. So now we do that once a month and that's been, that's been a lot of fun. So and we love to stream some of our uh, podcast. We do do a lot. <laughs> it definitely got a lot of things going and uh, you know, what's, what are your goals? What do you guys want to accomplish in your books and your series and all the different things you're doing? I think for Meet the Author podcast, what we want to do is help independent authors and right. small published That's authors. That's been our goal. All That's along. been our goal all along for that is to get, it's very difficult to, selling books today is not like it used to be back in the day. We even have New York Times bestsellers contacting us and asking to be on the podcast. So it's difficult for everybody, you know, especially when you think somebody's getting a hundred thousand dollars up front to write a book and they still have to get out there and do their own marketing. It's like, okay, there is a need. <laughs> and, um, and I think we explained the paranormal one people wanted it. So. Right. And you have a publicity company too. You, you do, you're a publicist for authors. Yeah. yeah. Indie book source, uh, indie book uh, You can we... find all our yeah, our, our podcasts are all on there and everything. So we closed like, the list because that was taking too much time. Yeah. There's only the two of us. <laughs> we, we probably have close to a hundred authors that we yeah. um that we publicize. Yeah. Oh, you publicize them on your website, like almost like a blog almost. On, kind of. Well, on there, yeah. but also on social media, all the social media outlets. Well, not all of them. X Twitter, of course. On your followers, meaning from your <laughs> followers, you promote them because they don't Facebook. have to promote themselves. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, fantastic. It's a lot of good stuff. Again, what's the website? Indiebooksource.com. All right. Fantastic. And also Tampa, Tampa Bay, Bay Spirits Spirits one. One. Com. Com. Okay. Tampa all right. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff. Keep it all going. We appreciate you coming on the show. Thanks okay. for having us. Thanks for having all right. Us. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. We'll be back in just a moment.